Hey guys, welcome to Blooms for Your Day, home of the best for flowers for weddings, events, and DIY. So today I'm super excited because I'm going to be reviewing one of our collections. It's called the Romantic Dusty Pink Collection and it's so pretty guys, it's so pretty. So before I show you everything, please kindly, I'm begging you, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it if you think there's anything of value here. So what I love most about the Romantic Dusty Pink collection is it has like this vintage vibe but it's also very modern and very on trend. So it's, it's like the perfect mixture of both worlds, right? So this collection uh, is all pre-made flowers so you literally just buy and use and it has eight pieces. Um, bridal bouquet, bridesmaids bouquet, boutonniere, corsage, a hair comb and arch flowers and table setting flowers. We have one more, we have one more. It's for the, the chair, the aisle markers. And for the aisle markers, the reception flowers, they're all multi-used. So you can use them for different things, which I will show you a little later in the video. But first, let's go through the bridal party flowers. So we'll start with the bridal bouquet. So this is our bridal bouquet of the collection. And I wanted to keep a very traditional shape for this bouquet, like kind of round and sweet, which kind of keep on trend with the vintage vibe. But the actual flowers in the color palette is like so pretty, right? So we have this gorgeous roses, uh, reflexed roses, these little foam roses here. They're so pretty and, and soft. These nice chunky peonies. It's like this beautiful mauve deep mauve color uh, these roses are so lush and so rich and it's like the perfect dusty rose shade <laughs> and these mini rose heads also super cute add a lot of dimension to the bouquet with the colors and these frosty lamb ears how pretty are these and my favorite one of my favorite flowers here is these little white anemones uh, we have a couple of them yes we have two of them and those pe more peonies uh, even at the back we even have some peonies in the back and hydrangeas and some filler flowers and i just i don't know i i love it it's like so sweet right it's so sweet but it's still like super modern and and very pretty i i love it and the finishing oh so this comes in the finished bouquet so it actually comes with these soft uh, chiffon frayed ribbons and I'll hold it so you can kind of see what it looks like. I like it. And it comes with this bridesmaids bouquet. This is a bridesmaids bouquet. As you can see, there's like a, you know, difference. And can you see your girls like holding this and you hold it? Like, I can see it. Like, I can see it. It's, it's so pretty. So uh, we'll go to the bridesmaids bouquet really quickly. And you can see it's a continuation of the same color palette, obviously, but again, we have some peonies in here, some roses, more peonies, and these uh, baby breath and filler flowers. It's just, just really pretty. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I like this a lot. And, okay, so then we'll go to, I'll show you guys those, you know, finishing pieces. So we have the boutonniere for the men or whoever is wearing a suit i what i like about these so they come pre if you can see the back it's like you can actually just put it over the pocket and it stays so you don't have to like pin it which you can also pin it if you want to but i love this it's like super easy it makes it easy to wear it and pop it right off when you're done and yeah so that's for the suit and these little wristlet corsage for I guess mother of the bride or whoever wants to wear a corsage and I don't know this is super random it doesn't have anything to do with weddings but I kind of can see these for proms as well I know we'll like 
proms feel so far away with COVID and everything. But when we do have proms again, I, I don't know, I feel like this is so sweet and can be great for that. And this flower comb, which is one of my favorite pieces, I'm not gonna put it in my hair because this is actual product, but I will hold it so you can see. It's like, it's so pretty. And you can even, if you have your hair in a bun, you can like put it over the bun on the side. And you can use one or two. On our website, I think we have one of the girls wearing both of them. So you can kind of see this like more layered look, which I love personally. And yeah, so there goes your bridal party flowers. Again, super easy, super convenient. You just buy and use. And what I personally love again with these, you can gift them, like even gifting your bridesmaids this little flowers you know as a keepsake and it's just a good it's a great gift and it's beautiful and they don't want to use it when they're done they can also unwrap it and just pop it in the vase and use it as a as a arrangement in their homes so yeah and also if you guys go on our website we have a pdf a free pdf download that you can if you sign up for our newsletter it show it has eight ways that you can repurpose your full flowers after the wedding so if you do decide to go this route this is a great resource to kind of give you ideas of what you can do with your flowers after okay guys so now we're moving on to our multi-use reception and ceremony flowers so the idea behind this multi-use concept is just to just give you more value for your flowers, right? So if you basically whatever you use in the ceremony can be repurposed and used again in this reception later. So I, I know I'm surrounded with so many different flowers, but I promise it's going to make sense. I'm going to break down each piece for you. So we'll start here with this owl marker. Uh, few flowers it could be used on a chair it could be used on an arch I don't know if you can see it here but we'll start we'll start here with the chair so I'm gonna untie this uh, don't mind the chair is actually not an event chair it's my actual home chair so I have this like really nice fabric that I put over it but you can still see the print but <laughs> I'm gonna untie it so you see the actual piece um, as you can see it has this like really long satin finished ribbon that you can use if you use a chair that's more narrow for example you can tie it over a few times uh, depending on the shape of the chair you might also be able to place it like this I think we on our website we have it in a bench a ceremony bench and you can also see it there like if you place it in, uh, on a bench or anything that's backless how you can use it but again what, what I love about this is you can also use it in an arch like how pretty is this? Just tie it on the arch. So this one is already tied in, you can see. And there you go. So it's for a great price you get to use this piece. You can use it in the ceremony and when you're taking your actual flower, uh, wet, wedding pictures, you can use it there. Or you can just have it, oh, you can also use it on your sweetheart table, your sweetheart table. Just have fine two on the sweetheart table, amazing. So yeah, I love this, I love these, they're, have roses, hydrangeas, this, I love the color and it's just really pretty. And now we're going to move on to our spray flower piece, which, okay. As you can see here, it's this gorgeous, really pretty, really, there you go, this is, you can put it in any way you want but this is actual back and this is the front you can see the difference here but again what I love about these it also comes with like a zip tie uh, situation back here that you can just basically loop your zip ties into it so I use these this kind of this more like sturdy um, industrial the tie I will put the link down in the description of this video so if you guys buy it want to buy the same one I use they have them in black and white and clear I believe you can just shop it on Amazon or whatever but you basically just loop it in and you can also use oops, sorry. you can also 
use this as a center as a arch flower as well so again from arches to sweetheart table to reception table you can have them in the ceremony stand if you have like if you're using the stand you're not using arches you can have a flower moment using just this you can even put it on top and use one of these here for like a beautiful again you can tie it in it will stay in place for like a gorgeous effect so multi-use that's the name of the game and i'm gonna just grab the bouquet so you can see how pretty it looks next to so again how pretty is that right like it's it's so cute and then we have our multi-use hold on guys sorry one second um okay we have our multi-use block flower block which it's as you can see it's um it's a it's a rectangular flower block i, I like the name flower block because it doesn't it's not necessarily a centerpiece and it's not arch flowers either so when we're creating these pieces the first round <laughs> they sent me the arch flowers and you can see like the holes in it because if you're using flowers in the background a lot of times the space doesn't have to be as tight as something like this so the flowers using the arch sometimes you can't not sometimes actually you cannot use it on the dining table because it's like very spacious because it's a flower moment it's not you don't you're not eating in front of it right but when you put this on a table it has to be made a certain way that it looks like a dining flowers so what i love about these they look great on the arch so again you can put it all no one you can even do the whole arch if you want and you can put it on your table like just prop it on your table and add, if you you can add them and have a whole flower moment like on a you know 10 feet table just gorgeous without much effort at all so these also continuation of the same color palette same kind of flowers a lot of roses here and you can see like the smog and again zip ties zip ties zip ties you need zip ties and you need scissors those are the only two things you need and yeah from there you can create all these amazing moments with your flowers And the last part of you know completing this whole collection the romantic dusty rose collection i wanted to share with you guys some diy flower bunches that i think could be a great could be used you know if you want so these are they're not part of the collection these are all diy bunches but if you want to create your own pieces inspired by this collection i would highly recommend using a couple of our bunches so the first one is the dandelion and peony bunch in vintage rose <laughs> sorry i had vintage pink not vintage rose vintage pink and these are so cute because they have like this little fluffy dandelion bulbs and peony bulbs and large peony bulbs and yeah they're so cute and you can take them apart and make your own thing and the other piece I would recommend is using our three stem roses in dusty rose dusty pink dusty rose so and yeah these are these are great you know, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it apart so you guys can like see um, this one here has It comes with three different, three different stems. Oops, sorry, three different stems here, and each one of the stems have three heads. So there's a big head, big flower head, and two like smaller ones. And you can really create. So what I love about these, they have you can have more dimension because you have all these little flower heads, right? So, but just even putting the three of them together, you can see how pretty it is and if you add more you know what i'm just gonna add one more of i'm gonna add the dandelion ah, and peony bunch so we can kind of just see what we can do here um okay 
I love this color. It's so, so pretty. Like this is, I'm not making a formal arrangement. I'm just kind of putting, bunching things together just to show you guys the colors. But you can already see, like even this propped in a vase. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so, yeah. Anywho, and again, you can go as big as you want, as small as you want. You could even just drop one in a vase. I still think it's super pretty in a bud vase. So, yeah. And okay. So, <laughs> thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I, I know everybody's busy, so thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends and everyone you know. But also subscribe to the channel because we keep we like keep working on all these amazing content for you. And also feedback is so important to me so if you guys would give me some feedback in the comments below tell me what you think about the flowers tell me how you think you could use them anything what you don't like go easy on me but <laughs> no really I, I welcome all comments please comment and share and thank you so much for tuning in